Turn the brightness down a bit. Come on. Okay. So I've got my piece of fabric. Let's just cut off this seam. Like so. And you don't have to cut it um, neat or anything. And once you've cut a, well, a rectangly square shape, then what you can do is add to it the ingredients you want to add to it for your mojo bag. So I'm going to put some rosemary in. This is rosemary from my garden. For demonstration purposes, I'm just going to do like a protection one. So I'm going to put my rosemary in. Like so. Then I'm going to add lavender because it smells gorgeous and lavender is good to use in protection workings as well um, for just bringing that love and calm. I'm going to add a little bit of dried rosemary and I've got somewhere some black salt. What have I done with it? There we go. I'm going to add some black salt. quite a chunky black salt so, and I'm gonna add some rose petals for the love aspect you know just this comes from a place of love and this is to like welcome in love and positivity Going to add. I'm going to add some chamomile for calming. I find it. I've put that in my other cupboard. One second. So I've got my big jar of chamomile, so this will just create a calm atmosphere. And then I'm going to add, hmm, what else shall I put in? Gonna put in. No, that's not the right thing. I'm gonna put in some. Whoops! Put in some of my moon water. Not too much because it'll uh, soak in the cloth. And I'm going to put in some of my protection. And some of my protection oil as well, just a little, little bit here and there, like so. And then you just gather up the corners, and gather up the sides, like so. There is a lot of excess fabric on this one, so I probably will cut off the fabric. But what I need to do first is tie this off.
I'm going to use purple just because I like the contrast um, and I haven't got any black on me. Any, like, you know, black cord to hand. And I'm going to tie that off nice and secure. Like so. I'm going to cut off some of this excess fabric. Like that. And then I'm just going to get a charm to hang onto there as well. And fasten that onto here, hopefully. If I can get the cord to go through it somehow. Just make that thinner, that end. There we go, now I can get that onto my bag. And I'm just going to tie that to secure it. And then I'm going to knot around the back. Obviously when you use a cord, you can use the colour correspondence as well. I like the difference of having like a brighter cord on it. And also I've got the black correspondence from the fabric I've used anyway and that's it that's how to make a little protective bag a um, little mojo bag and you can hang that on your door or carry that in your bag for protection so that's it I hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye for now